Are you a sales representative or a business development guy looking to supercharge your LinkedIn outreach efforts? You've come to the right place. I'm sure if you're in the LinkedIn game, you must have heard of Linked Helper. It's been around for a while. It's a relatively cheap tool and everyone's heard of it and it helps you run LinkedIn outreach campaigns from right within your desktop. Let's get really deep into this Linked Helper review. So Linked Helper has been around for a while. They recently released their new version, Linked Helper 2. And in this review, I'll cover a few things. I'll cover what Linked Helper 2 exactly does. We'll uncover the features you users like and hate because we went deep into the reviews to understand how people feel about it. We'll understand their pricing structure to see what makes it cheap or what makes it expensive in some of their higher paid plans. And we'll explore a leading linked helper alternative if you're getting more serious about using linked helper as a team. Let's get deeper into it. How does it work? It's simply a desktop app. You download it to your computer. You leave the computer open, plugged in to the power and helps you send connection requests as well as follow ups. It can help you endorse a group of people. It can help help you expand your network it has an autoresponder system so when people are responding to you and you're not on your LinkedIn the system will respond back instead of you so there's a few things that linked helper users like let's get deeper into that and then show you what are the things that some people hate so the first thing it it does offer a free trial provides automation features it can help with lead generation it can scrape data from LinkedIn most of all it can save time and automate tasks this guy says pros I really like the possibilities of automation there huge playground which is not possible possible on LinkedIn, these type of tools are great for B2B companies. The cons is that it is not a cloud-based tool to run automations, your computer must be running. All right, so people say they love the LinkedIn messaging automation. You can send personalized messages to people automatically. You can customize messages based on specific criteria for relevance, and you can obviously automate in-mails and follow-ups. A lot of people see that uh, it's relatively easy for uh, beginners and experienced users. So this guy says relatively easy to implement, works locally in your computer. With respect to the functionality, uh, people love that it's able to extract a lot of data scrape data from LinkedIn so what are the cons what do people not like the first thing people hate that it is not a cloud-based tool yet why is that important this one for two reasons one which is safety if you're a cloud-based tool you're much less likely to get banned on LinkedIn and number two it's actually around your workflow if you just forget and you close the lid of your computer while LinkedIn helper 2 is running you won't send any connection requests for that day and that day is wasted so it needs to run in the cloud not on your desktop so the question was what do you decide like about LinkedIn Helper, this guy says not a cloud-based tool yet, takes time for the app to launch, right? So which is not something people like. The other people hate uh, the interruption of the prospecting process, again, due to closing of the computer lid or due to bugs. So this guy says, you know, it presents a problem for me that the process is interrupted if I close the program, since I can't leave the computer on and that delays the prospecting process. So this is a major issue when it comes to the reliability of your prospect. The other thing people hate is proxy management is not user-friendly. A lot of these tools use proxies to make sure that you know there's a dedicated IP address for your LinkedIn account in the cloud. So this guy says while linked helper boasts a wide range of features, the interface can be improved to be more user friendly. One feature that would be highly beneficial is the ability to filter by location within the tool as the current process of extracting profiles, downloading a list, uploading again is time consuming. The other thing people hate is poor customer service. This is something we hear over and over again about this tool. And this guy says the customer service is really poor, is not good enough to launch a good product. You need good people behind it who can resonate with your clients. The other issue is that Linked Helper doesn't have the capability to target recently active LinkedIn users. You know, so otherwise you reach out to a lot of people who are not active on LinkedIn and that lowers your reputation in front of LinkedIn because LinkedIn thinks you're sending a lot of connection requests and no one is replying to you. So that is another feature that doesn't exist in Linked Helper. Another potential issue is that Linked Helper 2 doesn't provide any guidance on how much automation is allowed and it can get your LinkedIn account banned. All right, so let's get deeper into the pricing now. The trial reason is free, 14 day free trial, no questions as this is great you can actually use it to generate some leads see how the tool works but you might reconsider because it's not actually sufficient to see the value and get more leads from linkedin the standard plan is at 15 dollars per month which is dirt cheap but there's some reasons to reconsider like safety concerns like the lack of reliability with your computer lid shutting down and limited customization options the pro plan is really nice it has a lot of functionality but there's some issues like obviously inadequate targeting and customer support all right so with all of these uh, this in place here's my 
टू सेंस इफ यूर बी टू बी बिजनेस और मार्केटिंग एजेंसी वॉट यू रियली नीड इज अ मोर रोबास्ट टूल टू हेल्प यू रन द होल लिंक इन लीड जनरेशन कैंपेन फॉर योर टीम एज अ टीम राइट इट्स नॉट रियली एनफ टू पुट इन अ स्मॉल पीस ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन योर कंप्यूटर नॉट क्लोज द लिड एंड हेल्प यू रन सम कैंपेन्स वॉट यू रियली नीड इज अ प्रोसेस प्रोसेस ऑफ लीड जनरेशन ऑन लिंक इन दैट हेल्प यू गेट क्लियर विजिबिलिटी इन टू विच रेप इज परफॉर्मिंग वाई एंड मैनेज ऑल ऑफ इट टूगेदर टू इम्प्रूव योर एंटायर लीड जनरेशन कैंपेन एज अ टीम With this in mind, we obviously present to you our alternative, which is Sales Robot. We've had a lot of Link Helper users come over, especially if they're in a B2B team or they're an agency managing multiple clients. It makes it very easy for them to run cloud-based campaigns. So, for example, this person says, "I needed help with a on Saturday. I was expecting we'll get back to you during business hours, but I was very ple- pleasantly surprised and happy. I was wrong. My rep was knowledgeable, and best of all, they gave me estimates of how long each action were taking to resolve my issue that might take. Best chat." trouble resolution ever the tool has great support the tool has a lot of good functionality for b2b teams and lead generation agencies as well as much more security but there's a downside the downside is obviously the cost so it's not a cheap tool like linked helper because it is very expensive to run these automations in the cloud the professional plan starts at 99 dollars per month more than two times the price of linked helper but If you're in a team, you have that budget. You can go for it. Get more leads from LinkedIn. If you want to look at a detailed table of comparison between Sales Robot and Link Helper 2, I'm showing it here. You can just pause the video now and take a look at it. Now that is all I had for this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.